question. Would you consider yourself an adventurous eater? Give me your hat. Why? Because I'm going to puke in it. Well, let's see how far your curious palate will take you once you get a load of these restaurants that defy the laws of gastronomy. Dress up nicely, because we're taking you out to the 10 weirdest restaurants from around the world. What's up, Acnatics? This is Discovery Amuse serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out of this world fun facts. Watch till the end, because our number one pick will have you seeing double. Bon appetit! Huh? Hey! You want this? <laughs> oh, oh. Number 10 The Disaster Cafe. It's true that when looking for a place to eat, we go where the food is excellent. But the ambiance does complete the overall dining experience. However, in this particular cafe in Lloret de Mar, Spain, they prefer crazy over cozy. Want to know how it feels to dine in the middle of Armageddon? Then the Disaster Cafe might just be your cup of tea. The experience starts with customers wearing hard hats and being taken to a cave-themed underground restaurant. The staff then brings out the food in heavy-duty dishes because they are about to serve you in the middle of a 7.8 magnitude earthquake. Complete with lights going off, furniture shaking, and dishes flying everywhere, the simulated earthquake adds a unique twist to the cafe's signature dishes. They sure give you a whole new meaning to the term stress eating. Keep watching because our top pick might just be your next dinner destination. Number 9. The Heart Attack Grill Aptly located in the heart of Sin City is this diner that's bound to give you a heart attack because the selling point of the hospital-themed restaurant is their sinful, high-sugar, high-calorie, high-cholesterol menu. I am saying loudly and as clearly as any business in America can, this is dangerous. For the full experience, customers are made to wear hospital gowns as they are attended to by waitresses in sexy nurse uniforms. The diner named its burgers according to the number of heart bypasses you might need after devouring them. There's the single, double, triple, or perhaps you'd like to go YOLO and get the octuple bypass burger that has around 8 thousand calories. For sides, there's the all-you-can-eat flatliner fries cooked in pure lard, which you can wash down with a butterfat milkshake. As if that's not enough, customers who weigh more than 350 pounds eat for free. Just like the diner's spokesman himself, Blair River, who weighed 575 pounds. Sadly, Blair died in 2011 from pneumonia. But feisty owner Joe Basso, who, by the way, isn't a real doctor despite his costume, aims to preserve Blair's legacy by pushing more artery-blocking treats to their patrons. What would Blair hovering above me want me to do right now? And Blair would say this, put, put back on the stethoscope. Let's keep being the doctor that everyone loves to hate. Number 8. Amex Cafe the Vietnamese coffee has earned its rightful spot in the hearts of a lot of coffee connoisseurs, but this flooded cafe in Ho Chi Minh City takes it up a notch with their unique concept. Amex Coffee lets its customers enjoy their Vietnamese coffee while relaxing in the company of koi fish. This cafe has floors that are flooded, ankle deep, and filled with the Japanese carp. To dine in, customers are required to take off their shoes and clean their feet so the koi can nibble on their dead skin. The cafe uses a triple filtration system to keep the water crystal clear so visitors can kick off their shoes with ease. However, Amex received criticism for alleged animal cruelty, forcing the cafe to change its concept and transfer the fish to clear tanks placed around the cafe to serve as decor rather than foot doctors. Number 7. The Modern Toilet Fancy some turd-looking meatballs for late lunch? How about diarrhea cocoa? Or soft-serve chocolate ice cream in mini toilet bowls? Thanks to the power of social media, the IG-worthy Modern Toilet in Taiwan has found a cult following among millennials looking for a crappy culinary experience. 
Upon entering, you are greeted by large turds and toilet figures, so you can only bet it gets more interesting from here on out. The chairs are actual toilet bowl seats, and tables are glass panels fixed on top of sinks. As you would expect, their food is served in mini toilet bowls, and the meatballs, breads, and curries are like live-action poop emojis. But how do they actually taste? Let's just jump into it. It's starting to look more like meat and less like actual poop. Mmm, it's actually good. <laughs> Tasty. It's just like a meat, a curry meatball. If you're the type who doesn't eat with their eyes first, then this is one toilet you wouldn't mind staying in for a long time. Number six, Fortezza Medicea. Picture this. You're about to go on a fancy dinner for two on the hilltop of a romantic Tuscan town. But the catch is, you'll be seated inside an actual prison. The Fortezza Medicea has gained a steady stream of tourists wanting to experience being served by prisoners who are serving time. As per usual protocol, when entering a prison facility, diners must go through a tedious process of several checkpoints. When they finally get inside, they are treated to a sumptuous meal complete with the finest Italian Prosecco. How is it to be having dinner inside a prison? It's very strange because uh, we don't know if uh, we come and uh, if we come back. When it comes to great food and one-of-a-kind ambiance, they are surely... Oh, guilty as charged. <laughs> Number five, cabbages and condoms. It might not sound like an appetizing combo, but stay with me on this. In the hopes of promoting safe sex and overall sexual health in their home country of Thailand, the owners of Cabbages and Condoms decided to open this contraceptive-themed restaurant in the heart of Bangkok. And get this, all their profits go to the Population and Community Development Association, a sex education and HIV prevention group. The place is littered with mannequins decked in latex, and they even feature fun jokes and visuals meant to be conversation starters. After your sumptuous meal of traditional Thai cuisine, they even give you free condoms instead of mints. Talk about a guilt-free afternoon delight. It's very rare I have the opportunity to bask in the ambiance of such a classy lady such as yourself. Number four, robot restaurant. If you're down for some trippy techno good time in Tokyo, then check out the psychedelic vibe of the robot restaurant that's a literal assault on the census. Hey, it's even Will Smith approved. Anthony Bourdain once called it the greatest show on earth, and it doesn't disappoint. The robot restaurant's main draw is its insane light show and nightclub performances that might just induce your vertigo. There's just so much blinding neon lights, gigantic animatrons, and dizzying visual spectacles that it makes you wonder why they even called this a restaurant when it's really more of a Blade Runner style rave party that serves food on the side. But Hey, who's complaining? Actually, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. Number three, Le Refuse de Fondue. Of course, this list won't be complete without an entry from one of the most famous culinary destinations in the world, France. Le Refuse de Fondue is a quirky little joint in Montmartre, Paris, that specializes in all things fondue. Do you Fondue. But if you're expecting some classy, fine dining setup, because this is the city of lights after all, then you might want to reconsider. Instead, you'll be greeted with long communal tables that might be a little too hard to navigate, especially when the place is packed. Back in the 1960s, the owner decided to redesign the floor plan with just two long, solid tables with benches. This is to avoid the usual accident of spilling fondue. But because of this, the customers would have to literally step over the table if they wanted to go to the other side, causing many a wine glass to topple over. The solution? Serve them in baby bottles. Sweet child of wine. Now, that's definitely one way to look 30 years younger without any surgery. Number two, New Lucky Restaurant. Herein lies a restaurant that's absolutely to die for. How 
Can a man die better? Located in the city of Ahmedabad in India is the new lucky restaurant that has been sitting on top of a cemetery for over 50 years. Instead of paving over the graves, its owner decided to capitalize on the morbid concept and built his restaurant around the burial plots. Out of respect for the dearly departed, steel bars are built around the graves to protect them and they are adorned with fresh flowers each morning. But despite the deathly decor, patrons swear by the heavenly home-cooked dishes that bring their taste buds to life. Compliments to the Grim Reaper, I guess. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, Twin Stars Restaurant. Our top pick certainly hits the spot twice over. Twin Stars is the two-in-one concept restaurant in Moscow, Russia, where all the staff are identical twins, from the waiters to bartenders and even the chefs. They must also wear matching outfits and work alongside each other in their specific stations in the restaurant. Wait, does this mean double the tip too? I have a problem. I, I tip way too much. Way, way too much. It's a sickness, really. The owner of the restaurant, Alexei Kordakovsky, was so obsessed with the 1964 movie Kingdom of Crooked Mirrors that he thought, why not turn fantasy into reality? Who cares about the double salary? Unfortunately, that's perhaps the very reason why the diner is now permanently closed. So, in terms of concept, which of these restaurants would you give a 5 out of 5? Let us know in the comment section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? You know what would pair well with these strange restaurants? Some gigantic produce! So don't forget to check out our list of the 14 largest fruits and vegetables ever produced! Till then, stay quirky, Fatnatics, and see you in the next video!